just having some late night shenanigans with my capacitors and my little cheapy capacitor tester. So you put the capacitor in the test points, you've also got SMD type test points. This would be good for if you're replacing capacitors, you don't know the value of the capacitors, especially with SMD ones that may not be marked. Test button. Three three seven five microfarad ESR zero, and this is a this is an Xbox one I think. Three three zero zero microfarad. There you go. So that's a pretty good result. You're probably asking how have you got this hooked up so well? Well, where do the cables go? Ah, oh, it's this guy. My old variable thanks to that little turn thing um, DC to DC step down didn't go anywhere from one or two volts all the way up to 11 ish uh, we've got on the input 12 volt which is a brick but it does the job I was going to use three of these originally for the uh, satin uh, with an external brick Power the what were they three three nine and twelve volt rounds but no five three three five and nine three five and twelve one of the two anyway I didn't end up needing that so let's, let's test another capacitor let's do another Xbox one do one of these skinny ones Four eight zero two. That's not accurate at all. Thirty three hundred microfarad. Hmm. So let's try the other skinny looking one. I don't know how this reacts to a different voltage going through it than what it is rated at. This is rated for 6.3. Still, I don't understand. And that's how you use this thing. What a waste of money. Why did I buy this? <sighs> Never mind. What I do find interesting is these uh, uh, Sophia capacitors. These awful pale green ones. Not a nice colour. I gave them a test and they all came up... Oh, see the result there for yourself. Just short of 240 microfarad. And it's a 220 microfarad cap. So, ESR is 0.47 ohms. Ohm-tastic. But all of them, they're all like that. The only ones that I did have trouble with were some of the SMD ones. You can see it's quite a bag of capacitors. But the um yeah, these ones here. They are troublesome. So maybe these capacitors are reading correctly. These 330s. It definitely could detect that there was something wrong with this one. Gave me some sort of weird thing like that. The base has popped out. Compared it with a good one. This did read, this is a 680 microfarad. Came up as a 900 and something. I don't know if that's just because I sourced them on eBay or not. Oh dear. This is the uh, 330 again. Yeah. Off the chart. Interesting. That said, they are Nichicon and they work 
were from a time period when bad caps were a common thing. Oh well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed me playing around with this. Subscribe for more videos, yeah! RetroJunkie.net for more.